Flow their flow athletes. Let's take a look at the arm drag drill to some finishes. We've been working this new, to me, drill and finishes series with my athletes and I'm growing to like it more and more every time we run through it. It's great because we have a few different ways to drill our arm drag entries without stopping while flowing through the drill. And it's even better because we can mix in a few really nice finishes off the arm drag. Let's just jump into the keys to success for each part of this series. The main drill's keys to success are pretty simple. One, stay in your stance while you're doing this. Too many of my guys come up and stand straight while pulling on the arm. It's not a real arm drag. The second part is to move your feet. That's what makes it a real arm drag. Stay in your stance, move your feet. And both the offensive and defensive man should be moving their feet. All right, so the lift's keys to success are also pretty simple. Stay perpendicular to your opponent. Don't lift from behind him, you're just gonna set him back down on his feet. When I lift from the side, it helps swing his shoulders down to the mat and his feet up into the air. Now, when I go for the lift, I pretend like I'm sitting in a chair, I keep my arms tight, and I lift with my legs. Finally, be sure you pop your hips, or as my Muay Thai coach would say, sexy time. Now, if we can't take the back and lift, let's hit a double instead. So, the double's keys to success are Use the arm drag to clear a window for your shot. See how I turn the man's body? That's my window. Next, get your hips in and keep your head up. Don't look at the ground. Change your angle about 45 degrees from your penetration step and drive across your opponent's body. So the final move, the final finish, is the trip. And this finish to the drag is pretty sweet, I gotta say. I love it, especially against big guys. When Mark Schultz calls it his favorite move, I definitely pay attention. So, the trip's keys to success. Number one, a big step. And make sure you don't let your foot drag on the mat. I wanna hook all the way around my opponent's ankle. And number two, the dragging arm must let go and stretch across my opponent's body. Or, you're in danger of giving up your back. So there you have it, a mix and match drill with three great finishes. Do let me know how it works out for you or your athletes in the comments below. Thanks.